Okay, we are here. If you can tell, if not yet, oh, go around up to the there it is, back Coney Island. I'm um, gonna try for Heron at Steeplechase Pier. Heron been really sparse. This is kind of like a fun place just to spend the day. Obviously, the rides are not functional this time of year, but still, it's wonderful. It's great to get out, walk around. There's Nathan's, they got hot dogs. I'm gonna maybe stop and get a hot dog. I don't eat beef hot dogs, um, but uh, I might stop there, get some fries, and uh, just enjoy the sights, people, and whatnot. Really calm, quiet. It's raining, but it's really very bearable. And I don't think I've been out here for three three years. That's how I roll. Uh, sometimes I might, you know, hit something fast and hard uh, for a good while and just lay off. I kind of jot out here now and then. But I think it's about been at least three years since I've been down here. Always looks kind of feels the same. And that steeplechase pier over there. It's false palm trees. Let's get on the pier and see what's going on. If the heron are there, they're there. They're not, they're not. But we're checking out Steeplechase Pier here in Coney Island, New York. I don't know, but this must have been some sand that washed up within the last storm. I don't I really it looks like the storm that we had. Look at see if there's definitely a couple of people fishing for a heron here on People Chase Pier in Coney Island. I think it's a fairly it's a fairly long pier. I don't know if it's a quarter mile, half a mile island. Water looks beautiful, just perfect today. I love this. This is a nice summer day and fall day. Bring a blanket. Winter day. Bring a blanket and air mattress. Just kind of hang out and enjoy the so I'm going to start with my a shorter sabiki that kind of broke off. I'm going to check for those snags. I should actually take that flasher off for now, otherwise I may lose it. Ah, we'll keep it on. Pretty serious. I got the big gear. They do have a couple of heron. I got the double rigs, the finesse touch. That's going to make the difference. So I'm just checking out the bottom here. I'll take a cast. I'm actually going to angle this. I'm thinking there's a drop there. I might angle and funnel off into the corner here. Who knows? Just a slide up down jigging motion. Two ounces of weight on the bottom. Sometimes a little erratic. So before I change my Sabiki rig, like I said, it's a shorter one. I cast right. There's nobody. It's just great. I can cast and get that sabiki down. Good little drop. So I'm going to work this side of the pier, right along the pillars, the abutments. Just holding the steps here. And again, I carry around my heron purse, I like to call it. I got my flashers. Everything's in here I need. Pull the sabiki gates and more. I'm going to put my wires in my back pocket in my weights my sinkers and I like to carry two three ounces two three ounces of weight um, one is good too I like to just kind of stick like a hundred to two ounce weight so the, uh, uh, petrol company uh -huh. you know, just spoil everything yeah whole whole world it's sort of you know just uh, they care less what, what they damage, what, what they destroy. And I'm going to shoot one on this side of the pier just to see the bottom. See if I get snagged up on a little flick of a cast. It could be more people coming out later. I kind of can just give it some quick twitches, bounces on the bottom. I'm going to drop on a fresh full rig. I'm going to drop on a flasher, dodger, uh, I, I, I put a clip on the top, I get these from Bobby and Canarsie, it's got tons of them, just a superior flasher, superior, 
you're not gonna get a better dodge or flasher than this. Yeah, last time I was out here was COVID, I believe. I always get these, always get these to hang up. Let's see which way this is going. I think you do something like this. I think it's something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm glad I think we got it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was hot. There's some decent coverage on the pier. I did see one heron come up, but it's gentleman fishing there. I'm fishing here, obviously. Now I see a gentleman fishing there. Another gentleman fishing there. And another gentleman fishing there. So they have a really nice spread. Mm. Spread out nicely. Mm. I like the the, the through eyed sinkers. If I have them, and I use the regular, whatever I got. If I'm using a regular sinker, I'll put on a bigger clip. Like to make sure that sabiki orients up so when it drops down, it's on that arc. Somewhat, I, I just like, I think it's just a better presentation. Kind of important, but not vital. And, you know, just, it's sort of, I think that the government allowed them too much. Yeah. It's sort of, you know, just a balance in nature if yeah. balance is upset then we are in trouble yes abso we, yeah, hundred, absolutely absolutely thank you that's what it is yeah absolutely yeah. thank you yeah. Yeah. all right so at least there's a few heron around I'm just working this corner in here tight. Sabiki's are tight in there, and I'm not seeing him come up. Hi, how are you? Hey. And uh, just working in a uh, tight in this corner. I think he's spread out. Who knows? Play a few more guys working the water now. I still uh, I've seen that rack and a couple of single herons, and that's about it so far. Wow, that's real pretty. With fathers lifting up over the rise. Beautiful. Sabiki rigs? It's what? They're like Sabiki rigs. Oh, uh, Sabiki? Yeah, so they're just almost like a rung of flies. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then like they they're like really serious on it. Like uh -huh. they have they have like you know double drops and it's like twelve. So that's they're kind of sparse, but they get thick, full fuller the heron. But it's really this is about it here. These here. you want them keep them I got like tons of them really yeah and all you do is you just you just tie them up this is a, the flasher here so that kind of is the heron the heron so the heron they kind of see that and they'll come over to the to the sabiki and you just drop on a sinker or you can I see you were casting like a diamond like a jig lure kind of deal yes yeah you just like any kind of weight just drop it right on right on the bottom and that's it this actually I'm taking off I'm gonna fish for a little bit more but these, they're like you can see they got like doubles and floats and mm -hmm. they get really into it but you could definitely keep those try them yeah it's like yeah all right so I don't really need the flasher thing right? nah no it helps a little though it does yeah like more so like in the day mm -hmm. I'd say yeah well yeah Cool, yeah, I'm over here. Yeah. Just guessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, just tie it on, drop some weight on the bottom, and you're good to go. Really, that's about it. Yeah. When they come in thick, you'll, you know, you'll, it don't even matter. You'll see like two, three, four, five at a time. But right now, they're just kind of thin, thin out. Oh, yeah, lights on the yeah. thing, too. 
Yeah, they got, yeah, they like, they might be there now. So, yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, they have the thing off. I like the way that looks at night. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, walk around town, check out the rides, and stuff at Nathan's. Not gonna get a hot dog though. But that was uh, hot. That was way cool. Definitely hot. Um, some of the better. It wasn't a hot bite, but it was hot because from what the fish had been. A couple racks of herons I saw, which was great. Um, a lot of, uh, there were quite a few singles. So kind of like from the layout from when I left, at least a dozen anglers. It seemed that uh, from zero to two fish and one angler was just hot on the fish. Just like he had rack, a couple racks, probably a clean dozen fish the time I was here. A good, good amount of time fishing. Um, but I am going to head out. Um, definitely a fun day. Uh, I, I'm going to go into the night and I'm just walk around town a little bit, check out some things. And I'm going to do a little bit more heron fishing later. So, all right, let me get going here. And thanks for watching. See you next time.